China's President Xi Jinping and Gambia's President Adam Abaro renewed their commitment to collaborate in the spirit of win-win cooperation during a bilateral meeting earlier on Friday. President Xi thanked President Barrow for the Gambia's commitment to the One China policy. President Barrow has left Beijing to Herbin City, where he will visit the Longjian Road and Bridge Company Limited head office before heading back to Banjo. Also, the 8th Conference of Chinese and African Entrepreneurs, co-organized by China Council for Promotion of International Trade and China's Ministry of Commerce, took place on Friday. The conference brings together Chinese and African entrepreneurs to network and share the successful examples of cooperation between Chinese and African entrepreneurs around the topics of promoting the integration of industrial and supply chains and driving the development of emerging industries and also to explore cooperation opportunities made possible by new initiatives of China-Africa cooperation. The president of the Gambia Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Idrissa Mas Job, is accompanied by Gambian business owners, including the chairman of Q Group and the CEO of Gash Global. Well, it is not countries that, that, that do business. Eventually, it's about the, the, the companies within the different countries. Even if there is cooperation between China and the Gambia, eventually that cooperation is going to be manifested by cooperations between Chinese companies and uh, Gambian companies. Um, we're looking forward first for opportunities of um, technology, technology transfer. We have seen that in the last 30 years, China has uh, moved or increased their GDP per capita by 20-fold. And that is an example for Africa. China has shown that it is, it is possible to move from an underdeveloped country to a developing country, but through innovation, through, through science. It is not the standards that are the problem because um, Chinese companies are partnering with European firms to increase their standards. There are four. If you have a good Chinese partner, your standards would be, would be international. Our first problem is that we have to brand and market the Gambia. That is why where the GCCI can cooperate with the Gambia government to market that our country is a country that is friendly to investment. Abubakar Jawara, CEO of Gach Global, and Ishaka Sisoho, CEO of Habatu Sauda, are among the business community delegation. Gach Global was founded in the Gambia and has since expanded internationally via tomato paste production, mining, and construction. Habatu Sauda is an alternative medicine store where mainly natural herbs are sold. Both business owners look forward to building strong partnerships with their Chinese counterparts. I know this can be a big opportunity for us, this Foka to continue to exploit our business. Can for someone who I can take to make partnership with them so that I can make my business to be grow, so that I can be able to take my herbs to put in Gambia agriculture. That is very, 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 I'm thinking about that every time. If I came here, I know that I can meet with someone who can help me to make the business to grow in Gambia, inshallah. During his opening remarks on Thursday, China's President Xi Jinping pledged that China would open its markets to African agricultural products and that products from most of the world's poorest countries, including territory in Africa, would be exempted from all tariffs. China is Africa's biggest trade partner. Trade between the two reached 282 billion US dollars in 2023. Reporting for QTV News from Beijing, I am Jenna Bosonko.